One question that I've been getting a lot lately is how to jailbreak iOS 4 official release. And to be honest with you, I have an answer for it. And I have had one for maybe three or day, about three days now, but I've been so busy, guys. I mean, yesterday I stood in line for 11 hours trying to get my iPhone 4. Um, yeah, I know I sound crazy, but it was for a purpose that you don't need to know right now. So just think it wasn't just for my phone. It was for my whole family, really. Um, this is what you'll need though. You'll need Pwn's Tool 4.0.1. Uh, it will be at blog.iphone-dev.org, or I can, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. If not, if I forget any links that I mentioned in this video, uh, someone just PM me and remind me if I forget for any reason. Uh, you can see some things do happen though. Um, you have to have a device that was jailbroken, uh, with the old boot ROM on the old phones. So you can't have it jailbroken with Spirit. Otherwise, you might have to wait a little while. Um, if not, a lot of phones won't work to coming off the GM release. I know for sure. If you try to jailbreak and then go from the GM release to this one. So what I had to do and what you have to do too is you must, must use 3.2 and then use something like um, Black Rain to jailbreak it and then go up to the jailbroken 4.0. Otherwise, it will not work. It will not work if you uh, jailbreak a 3.1.3 with Spirit. So, anything you do, guys, just to be safe, if since you're gonna restore it anyways, I would just go to 3.1.2 real quick, jailbreak, and then go up to the 4.0 jailbroken, just to play it safe. Make sure. Um, it's works on all devices that are compatible with 4.0 anyways. Yet not yet compatible with the original iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, when it is, I will let you know. Anyways. That's where you'll need. You also need to go to uh, Felix. Where is it? FelixBruns.de slash iPod slash firmware. And you'll need to retrieve whatever device you have. You know, iPhone 4 is not supported, even though they have the firmware there yet. Um. So you'll need to pick your device. I've already downloaded the firmware, I believe, that I want to use. Let me see. Um. I've got a copy of the firmware. I'll use. Um. I already have Punish and everything. So download the one you want. Also, like I said, if you don't have it already, I would just make sure you download something like if I did this, when I did that, I downloaded the 3.1.2 for my iPod Touch second generation. Uh just to make sure. And then if you're gonna do that the safe way, use Black Rain. Works really well. I did it already. Let me open up the Ponage tool DMG. Quick. So once you downloaded all this, again, iPhone 3G only iPhone 3GS only if they're using the old boot lo boot ROM. I believe that's what it's called. Let me see. Um, yeah, only the old boot ROM. And you did not use Spirit to jailbreak. If you did, you're going to have to do some things because it's not supported already. The new boot ROM is not supported. Um, you have to wait a little bit. So, next thing is... Oh, sorry, hold on. Zoom in on accident. Once you've done that and you've got Punch Tool, at this point... I want you to pause the video if you plan on doing the jailbreak real quick of 3.2, downgrading to 3.2, and then jailbreaking and going back up to the firmware you're about to create. So stop the video right now. Okay, if you're not going to do that though, and you or you've already done so, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to pick your device. iPod Touch 2nd generation and the iPhone 3GS thing are the 3G iPhone also. And the iPod Touch 3rd generation probably also. I'm not completely positive, guys. But I guarantee this one's 3G because I jailbroke the 3G one for my friend. And I can almost, I'm can i almost positive that's going to be 3G iPod Touch. Since it does look like it is supported, I believe. Actually, maybe it's not supported. Um. Actually, no. Sorry, guys. I didn't see that. iPod Touch 3rd generation is not supported yet. So, 2G iPod Touch then... Third generation iPod Touch, or not? I'm sorry, not third generation. Third generation iPhone, which is basically the 3GS and the 3G. Again, guys, I don't want you guys leaving K comments telling me how long you wasted doing this. I do apologize for not seeing that um, earlier. Since I'm gonna jailbreak 4.0 though, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna select expert mode so I can just do it easily. I'm gonna browse for my IPSW right now. Let me see. Let me browse from my IPSW. Um, you can see I've already modified one. 
Let me see if I can just... I don't... I'm not completely sure, guys, if that's the... Uh... GM release or not. If it is, I'll stop the video while I download it. Okay. It is, so, um... Let me stop the video real quick. I'm gonna download the... Actually, here. Let me not stop the video. Let me try to just read jailbreak one of these ones. Let me see if I can jailbreak it. I already jailbreak in firmware. Uh, yeah, no. Let me redownload it real quick, guys, and I'll come back when it's done. I'm back, guys. Uh, you, I've already downloaded the firmware now. Again, let me see. Right, right here. Yeah, the new one. So let me try this again. I'm gonna browse for my firmware, and most likely it's probably gonna be in the thing. Uh, by the way, forgot to mention one thing. Win Windows users, um, you're gonna have to get it from someone who has a Mac, or risk doing it at an Apple store, which should be fun to do, I guess. Uh, jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch at the Apple Store. Um, anyways, now that I've selected the firmware, you can see it's starting to spin to go. Let's see, and then you can pick your things that you want. I don't want custom logo on this firmware. Uh, obviously, some things. Uh, your partition size. Uh, I would enable this under general settings. Multitasking home screen wallpapers. Battery percentage for you iPhone users. Um, then you can set your partition, your jailbreak partition. Uh, I believe 1200 makes up one gig, and it's not 1000 flat like everyone thinks it is. It's like 1200 megabytes, I believe, is one gig. Um, and then, yeah, you hear Mr. Ages Tech typing right now. And then you hit build. Hello. And then, and then you can save it where you want to. I'm gonna save mine, yeah, just to my downloads full or to my. I'm gonna save it to my documents folder right now. Actually, my Dropbox, so maybe I can share it with a couple people. And then hit save, and you'll start building your IPSW. And this will take a lot of computer power. Uh, you notice mine's going to hit 180 degrees, so I'm going to turn up the fans real quick. It might get a little loud. You can see, guys, even with the fans at full speed, and it's kind of loud now, uh, it's still very hot. That's why you saw me adjusting this, the keyboard brightness. Uh, try to turn off anything that will start hitting heat-wise. Let me see. So I've got, you can see and it's, it's intensive on the battery, kind of. Not too bad, but enough that if you're running very low, you might want to plug in. But remember, in this case, Spirit's bad uh, for the old or for the phones because you can't have the new boot ROM. So. But, guys, until uh, GeoHot, because GeoHot apparently is already jailbroken, um, it 4.0, and what he, what everyone says that he's done is actually figure out how to jailbreak. Um, let me type in my password real quick. Jailbreak every future uh, iOS with his new tool, uh, Pony, Pony, Pony for Life, I believe is it's called. So unless Apple fixes his little, uh, like the little. Uh, loophole he found it should be jailbroken forever for any device uh, but until he releases that this is the way things have to be done so sorry Windows people and iPod Touch 3 uh, for Mac users and mostly the new devices except the iPod Touch 3 generation uh, I'm actually gonna stop the video real quick and when it's done I'll come back okay I'm back guys uh, you can see it's done and now all I'm gonna have to do is when I want to um, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but obviously, when you're done, you're going to get that file out of wherever you put it to. Let me just go like this. Um, I put mine documents. I, oh no, I put mine Dropbox. So you get it out of there. And on Macs, uh, Option Restore, and I believe on Windows, I believe it's Alt, and then you hit the Restore button. You hold that down while you restore. Or Shift. Thank you, Mr. Ages Tech. Uh, while you. You hold shift then or option depending on which OS you're on. Uh, while you're while you click the restore button and click your custom firmware, make sure that it's the custom one. And it should work. If not, leave a comment below or PM me or email me. Anything will work. Uh, so this was Matt from Ultimate City Source and Mr. AJ's Tech. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.